Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Supper channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to fetch the, fetch the random row from a CSV file which is capped on the FTP location. Let's look at how we can do this. And so guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Now, let's get started. And first, let's understand the use case. Why do we need to get the random employee? Maybe you have one CSV file wherein you have the list of employees. You are doing, uh, you are playing a game wherein you wanted to uh, provide some rewards to an, to an employee. So what you can do, and you, you wanted to uh, provide that award to a random guy okay so what you can do you can simply hit that integration and get a random employee data from that csv file so that integration may be helpful in all those cases so like we have this file wherein we have a list of employees like this and then we wanted to get a data from this file in a random manner like i wanted to get the one employee like 103 employee name is Ravi and employee email. Or when I hit this indication second time, I wanted to get the another employee, random employee like 117 Kevin and the sky. Let's look at how we can achieve this. So I'm going to show you each and every step which will help me to get that random employee. So I will open my Oracle integration screen wherein I'm going to show you. So before I show the use case, I am going to show you, I have created a library called random G. In this, I have one function called random, which will give me a random value. Let me show you my JavaScript function, which I have written. My random function, which generates me a random number of two digits. Why I am generating the random number of two digits, considering I have only the employees like 200, 300, 400, not more than that. So in this case, it will helpful, right? If you want it, if you have a long file, like uh, wherein we have a number of, you know, uh, in thousands or millions, then you have to increase, you have to increase this limit, and then you have to get the random number of a big digit. But considering I have less data, hence I am generating a random number of two or three digits, right? Fine. I have one file which is there on my FTP location. And this is the file employee.csv. Let me show you that file as well. So here, this is my file which has uh, 200 employees, okay? So what I want, I wanted to fetch not 200 maybe uh less but that's fine it has uh, almost 100 100 rows in this file okay so i wanted to fetch a employee from this file a random employee and that is there on my ftp fine now let's get started and understand how we can achieve this so if you wanted to see how do you register this library you can look at another video which is used which is which is there on the YouTube on a title, how to generate a random number in Oracle integration. I'll give you the link in the description. You can take it from there. Now let's look at, let me create a app driven orchestration here. Let's say get random employee and then click on a create button. And then I'm going to generate one rest API here. And let's say get EMP and let's say random and then i need a response back i will choose json and then align and let's do emp id emp name emp email so i need these three information from the file next and then finish now the next thing i need to read the file so i'll make a FTP adapter call and let's say read file. 
Okay, if you wanted to see how to read file, you can look at my another video. Next, and let's see read file. Let me say slash home slash opc slash in is the directory and file name is employee. Employee.csv. So this is my file which is there on my FTP. Let me just take the correct name. So this is the correct name. Fine slash home slash opc slash in the CSV file. Let me read that CSV file. Let me just give that CSV file. EMP ID, EMP name, EMP email address. Let me say employee and then employee said next and then finish. Now as a next step, I need to fetch the random value from the JavaScript. So I will call my JavaScript function using, using that JavaScript action. And let's say get random create and function and random. This is my function, then run select and then validate and then close fine and then basis on that random number i need to fetch the particular row from this result so i'll edit my get emp mapper and then first of all i'll use this read file response employee set employee response wrapper and i will map to emp id emp name emp email and then here you see emp id if i do this you can see i am getting the emp id so i so this employee is my array type so i need to get a id of a particular index what index this random index so what i will do so here i'll use the number function to convert into the number and we'll put it here under that number. Okay, so this is how. So if you see here, I am trying to get a employee from a particular index. What index is that is coming from my random. Okay, again, I'll copy the whole expression and we'll use everywhere EMP name. And sim similarly, EMP email. That's it. And validate and then close. Close. Enable the tracking parameter here. So since I'm not sending any response, it will give me that thing. Let's say method. So tracking name cannot take dot so i'll simply say method save save and then close i will activate this integration and then activate and simply test this integration so you don't need to pass anything let's click on a test and you will see one random row will be picked up and will be sent out to the response you see 106 test it one more time You see 157, test it one more time. Every time you test, you will get a random guy. So this is how you can generate or you can get the random data from the CSV file. So guys, that's all about this. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.